Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a girl Fiona in this Fiona's kitchen. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing, hitting the notifications bell, also, also like, share, and comment on our videos. Share our content with your friends so that we can grow our community. Today we are cooking Spanish omelette and I'm going to take you through the ingredients. These are two medium-sized eggs, some tomatoes that I have chopped. Actually, it's a half a tomato chopped into fine cubes, some coriander leaves. I removed the stems and disposed them, chopped into small pieces, and half an onion, medium size, chopped into fine cubes, and some green pepper, also chopped into fine cubes, some salt, and some black pepper. So I'm now going to mix everything. The Spanish omelette, unachanganya kila kit. You mix everything. Whatever you want to put, you can even put waru. You just mix everything. So those are my eggs. Next, I'm going to put the onions. There's no sequence or any order that you can follow. You just mix everything. And now I'm putting my green pepper. In no particular order, the dania and the tomatoes, then the salt and the black, uh, black pepper. You can use different spices as per your liking. You can add different ingredients too as per your liking. And you can use a fork. To mix or a whisk depending on what you have I'm using a fork that's how the mixture looks like meanwhile I'm going to light up my my cocoa cocoa cooker so that my pan can be heating up as I prepare the mixture Make sure to mix everything. Then I didn't mention I'm going to be using oil. Oil is part of my ingredients. So I'm going to pour some oil onto the pan. The pan is already on fire. Or it's on heat so I'm going to pour my mixture onto the pan but if you realize it's too much like I'm guessing mine is too much you divide it into two portions or into uh, the amount of portions so that to avoid having a very thick uh, omelette like mine it will be fluffy to be sweet so cook on medium heat to avoid the downside burning too quickly. If you put a very thick mixture, it will end up like mine. It will cut in the middle. So a tip of having a fluffy, rounded uh, Spanish omelette. First, you cook on low heat. And make sure you don't put too much mixture on the pan. Like mine can't turn. But to taikula too. Cooking is fun. So enjoy your cooking. If something backfires... You take the lesson. Like, it looks good, despite it cutting at the middle. So, 
So I'm going to remove the first part and check if it's cooked, which That's how good it looks. Yummy. See how good it looks, the omelette on the other side. Then I'm going to remove the remaining. Though it didn't come out as a, a round Spanish omelette, it's still tasty. I'm going to be the one tasting. Uh, it tastes so yummy. You should try this at home and bring me the results in the comment section. Let's share how your Spanish omelette came out. Did it hold together? If you realize the, the mix is a bit too much, reduce so that it can hold together. But despite that, mine still came out beautifully yummy and I'm enjoying every bite. I hope you're enjoying with me. You can tell I'm enjoying every bite. So try this. And let me know how it goes in the comment section. If you're new to my channel. For such great tips. Recipes. Kindly subscribe. Hit the notifications bell. And also like, comment and share my channel with your friends so that we can grow this community together.